The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Spirit sent Jesus out toward the desert. He stayed in the wasteland 40 days, put to the test there by Satan. He was with the wild beasts and angels waited on him. After John's arrest, Jesus appeared in Galilee, proclaiming God's good news. This is the time of fulfillment. The reign of God is at hand. Reform your lives and believe in the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Bless this unworthy priest and bless all the people who listen to your word. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, somebody said, one out of three people is ugly. Sa tatlong tao, may isang pangit. Wow! Uh, tignan mo nga yung nasa kanan mo. Kung gwapo yan, maganda yan, medyo delikado ka na. The one on your left, kung gwapo yan, maganda yan, may problema ka na. Well, sisters and brothers, today, what struck me about the temptation of Jesus in the desert for 40 days is the line that says, He was in the midst of the wild beasts and angels ministered to him. Beauty and the beasts. In each one of us, there is goodness, but there is also evil. We're always torn between being good and being bad. Sisters and brothers, today, I ask you, who are the beasts in your life? Sino mga, how do you call them in Tagalog? Mga halimaw sa buhay mo that make life difficult for you that make you unhappy starting in your own home I hope you are not the beast to other people mahirap na po ang buhay wag mo nang pahirapan pa ang buhay ng iba Today, you tell the Lord, Lord, help me not to become the beasts that make life harder for people. May I become an angel who ministers, who comforts other people. Sisters and brothers, make a choice. Choice to, to be good. The choice to be good instead of the choice to be bad. And so today, Lord, we pray, deliver us from the beasts in our lives. Take them away, Lord. And Lord, may we meet more angels to be with us in our journey through life. So mga kapatid, asking all of you to be 
angels. Mahirap po maging angel. We are weak. We are human. But try your best. Medyo pinahan mo nga yung katabi mo. Mukhang anghel ba yan? Angel ba yan? So dear friends, remember, in each one of us is goodness and evil. It depends kung anong mangingibabaw. That depends on whom you are listening to. If you listen to the evil one, you become angry, you're proud, you're selfish, you're uncaring. Because you're always listening to the evil one. But what is the opposite? You listen to the Holy Spirit, you have the fruits of the Spirit. Please check if you have these. The fruits of the Spirit. Peace. Do you have peace in your life? Are you peaceful in your thoughts, in your words, in your action? It's a sign that the Holy Spirit is with you. Love. Self-explanatory. Mapagbigay ka, matulungin ka, the Spirit is with you. Joy. Joyful ka ba o sorrowful? Ikaw ba ang kill joy? You make people unhappy. You make people sad. You're not living in the Spirit. Hope. Ikaw palagi bang you're always uh, pessimistic. And you talk to people, it's always about down, it's always about suffering, it's all about your sacrifices, and you hardly talk about, you know, uy, kaya naman yan, okay yan. Possibilities. Another fruit of the Spirit is patience. Pasensyoso, pasensyosa ka ba? You're always impatient. You're always angry. Dapat ganito. Dapat, dapat, dapat. Pasensya lang po. Then you are listening to the Holy Spirit. Kindness. Marami sa atin absent yata nung sinabog yung kindness. Naging masungit ka na, matapang, just unkind in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. You can say anything. You can explain na kasi ganito, ganito, ganito. But the bottom line is, you're not following the Holy Spirit in your heart. Goodness. My goodness naman. Goodness. It's not just your goodness. It's the goodness for everyone. And gentleness. Gentleness, again, in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. And of course, self-control. Self-control. Ano po yung ideal man? Ideal woman? Ang code ko po dyan, B, B, C. B, siyempre, beauty. Wow. B, brains. C, character. Ugali. Tignan mo ngayon katabi mo. Mukhang BBC ba yan? Beauty. Mm. Mga kapatid, hindi bali nang hindi beauty, ma-beauty. Basta, Mabuti. Okay yun. Naalala ko po, nako, si Papa. Yung Papa namin, Papa Imong, Moy, Guillermo. Naniligaw kay Mama. Si Papa, medyo wala siya masyadong kabutihan. 
And he himself tells us that. Mama, pretty woman, but Papa loved her so much. Ang gandang sinabi ng nanay ni Mama, sabi raw niya, Kunching, si Imoy, uh, maitim, pero maputi ang puso niyan. Gusto ko yan. Inner beauty ang ugali. By the way, speaking of beauty, napansin ko lang, and I give communion, I meet a lot of women with very beautiful eyelashes. Bakit? Nung panahon namin, walang masyadong magagandang eyelashes. Sabi nila, Father, extended yan. Ah, yung pala. Tignan mo ngayon katabi mo, naka-extended ba yan? Okay, yung physical beauty pwedeng marimedyo, maritoke, ayan. Okay yan. And you some people spend a lot of money, as in a lot of money, just to be pretty and to be handsome. Ritoke dito, ritoke dyan kung saan-saan. Pero sana that the Lord is telling us today, your inner beauty, ugali. I remember again, Papa, about this time when summer comes. We were growing up in Bani Pangasinan and there was this tree. It's called Bangar tree. It blooms only in the hottest summer. Beautiful flower, red, flaming red. But, but, the smell is so foul. One kilometer away, you can smell that foul odor. Ang ganda, pero ang baho. And Papa would tell us, tignan nyo, May mga tao ang gaganda nila, pero ang baho ng ugali nila. Character. Amen? And maybe this is what Lent is all about. We are so focused on material beauty, material possessions, material applause. What we should do is Let's take care of our spiritual beauty. Kailangan ng spiritual spa. Spiritual possession is to have God in your heart. Iba po kung ang Panginoon ay nasa puso mo. Iba. May symptoms ka na hindi mo maintindihan. Mamaya napapangiti ka na lang. Mamaya sabi mo, okay lang. Hindi na ako papatol dyan. Iba po. There's so much joy when you really have the Lord in your heart. That joy which the world cannot give nor take away. I hope you experience that. When you journey to God's heart, the Lord will tell you again and again, I love you. Don't worry what's happening. Kung mayroon sila nito, mayroon yan. Basta you have me and I am with you. Okay na yun. Sisters and brothers, ano, to, ano ngayon ang kailangan natin? Beast, from the beast to become the best. B-E-S-T, the beast, matapang, masungit, instead of that, become the best. Anong pagkakaiba? of the beast and the best. What's the difference? Letter A. Because of the letter A, you are a beast. B-E-A-S-T. Remove the letter A, you're the best. Ano yung A? I think the A is ako. The I, me, and myself brings out the beast in you. Because you are selfish, you are proud, self-centered, you get everything all because of I, me, and myself. So what is our journey to God's heart? He must increase, I must decrease. It's a journey from me 
to we. Ikaw kasi panay me, 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 me. Don't forget, you're forgetting. It's we, me and God, me and other people. Then the best comes out in you. Try it, mga kapatid. If you decrease yourself, level up on God, level up on people, something beautiful happened. Kanina po, when we began the Mass, the sound system was not good. So, I was telling John, increase the volume of God. Decrease the other things. Let God be magnified. He said, brothers, asking you to journey from me to we. You know why? Think ill. You're always thinking ill because it's all about you. But if you think about others, we, you think well. You talk ill. How about talk well? Do ill, do well. Friends, this is our prayer. Son of Lord, you increase, I decrease. And what is the meaning concretely of that? Mga kapatid, you magnify the Lord means journey to the Lord. Oh, yan na yung confession. It's all about you. How about Lord? You're calling me to go back. Here I am. Pinasok mo na si Lord. Or, let go of your hurts. Hindi na Lord, hindi ko napapatulay yung mga hurts na yan. I'm focusing on your love. Let go of your time, talents, and treasures. Time. Your gadget time. Pakicheck mo yung gadget mo. Kasi may record dyan eh. How many hours you spent on those gadgets. Sasabihin pa niya, you spent how many minutes on TikTok, on messages, <laughs> claro, maybe take time for your loved ones. And also, forgive, patawarin mo na yung mga taong nakasakit sa'yo, forgive as God has forgiven you, and also, reach out. Baka may mga taong di mo pa nakakausap, hello, whatever. This is the time. He must increase, others must increase, I must decrease. Sisters and brothers, finally, may mga taong, there are beasts around us. But you know, yung mga tinatawang beasts na yan, they are also cleansing you. For example, are there people who annoy you? Nakakainis tong tang ito. Alright? But you know what's happening? You learn to be more patient. Imbis na patulan mo, huwag mo nang patulan, be more patient. They're cleansing you too. Those people you think are doing bad to you, they're also doing good to you. There are those who offend you. Who hurt you, but you learn to forgive. There are those who hate you, then you learn parent to give unconditional love. Those who give you fear, nananakot sa'yo, you learn to be courageous with the Lord. Those who control you, then you learn to be submissive, learn to surrender. And those who say no to you, those who refuse you, then you learn to be independent. I remember a classmate noon who kept asking for a pencil, eraser, parang ganun, ang naging kwa niya, habit niya. Till one day he said, bro, you have to bring your own pencil and er eraser. Nagalit siya sa akin. But later on he said, Jerry, thank you ah. I realized I have to be depend independent. 
hindi ako pwedeng maging dependent to people. See? Though when you have problems, you begin to be strong. When people attack you, you learn to be defensive, to defend yourself with the Lord. You don't offend them back. And those who look down on you, when people look down on you, you learn just to look up to God. Sisters and brothers, journey from me to we. That's what this Lenten journey is all about. So we bow our heads and Lord, thank you for reminding us that the evil in us is real, but the goodness is also real. But that if we follow the Holy Spirit, we can overcome our selfishness and pride. And the real beauty comes out. The beast can become the best if we become less selfish, less proud, less entitled. Yes, Lord, tame the beasts in us so that the best may come out in us. Salamat po, Lord, for reminding us that no matter what happens, you always see the good in each and every one of us. Sana po, ganun din kami to always focus on the good, not on the bad. On the happy, not on the sad. Stay with us, Lord. Lessen the beasts and increase the angels. And please use us to be angels to minister to other people as well. Lord, from now on, wag na po akong beast. Sana, best, best na po. Amen and amen.